Studying for assessments and exams in contracts is a little bit different, I think, from other key subjects that you study in law school, only because a lot of the content is um, mixed or fused together. So in a subject like torts, for instance, a lot of the elements are very clear and very distinct and they flow one to the next to the next, whereas in contracts you're dealing with a lot of different issues all at the same time and everything is related to everything else in terms of the content of the law that you're learning. Uh, you can't just rely on ticking off individual elements, everything flows into everything else. My top tip for studying contracts would be to do the readings basically, so not to rely on notes that you've got from other people. Often students try to learn the entire contract course just based off other people's notes. I'd say that doesn't really work and it's better really to learn every case that's in your reading list so that when it comes to the exam you understand what every case is about and you really know the law and the principle that comes from each of those cases. Structuring a response to a contract problem question is basically an exercise in simplicity, I would say. So keep it really simple, have a tight structure, organise your answer into different issues. First issue, state the principle, apply that principle to the facts, then give a conclusion that's likely but not definite, and then do that for every other issue that comes up on the facts of the problem question. I think a great mark in contracts is different from a satisfactory mark in that it really applies the law to the facts at hand and applies it well. So often people just state legal principles, which are obviously true and that's important, but that's sort of taken as a given that you'll know that, particularly in assignments. It's just understood that you'll be across the law. So where the marks come from, I'd say, is applying those legal principles really well to the individual facts that you've been given. So looking at hypotheticals when things are unclear or you don't necessarily have all the facts, looking at the implications of the legal principles there and going in different directions with the facts and the problem question you've got before you and seeing how the legal principles could come up with a legal answer.